thought I'd pop on and share a little haul video with you. Um, I was supposed to be um, <laughs> really good this year and I had all the best intentions of being good, but um, I'm one of those people that uh, when I can't craft, um, I tend to go looking through craft supply stores and then things just end up in my cart and yeah. Um, but I bought um, a few things and then I bought um, mainly the Jen Hadfield uh, Pebbles um, I can't remember what it's called at the moment Hey Hello collection um, which, it, which was in one of my three collections I was going to buy list um, but I had decided I was going to get Pebbles um, Lovely Moments collection instead and then I kind of felt like I was missing out. So, yeah, <laughs> long story short, it's ended up in my cart. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I got a few other things as well. I got this to try. Um, and as you can see, it's all over my hands. It made a real mess when I was spraying it. Um, yeah, it's the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. It's a glossy acrylic spray. So it's an acrylic paint. Um, so it comes out nice and saturated and opaque. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's supposed to have a glossy finish. I, of course, tried it on something porous. So it doesn't have a glossy finish on this. I sprayed it on some wood veneer. Um, but, I mean, that's just one coat. Um, and it's come up nice and white. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it's like on... Gosh, it's all over me. It made a big mess all over my craft mat. You can kind of see still some of the remnants. So I would suggest if you do try these to get a... Um, all over my desk too. <laughs> um, get yourself a little box to do it in so you don't make a mess everywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to try that on something non-porous and see whether it sits nicely on the surface and does form that glossy layer before I purchase any more. Um, but I did kind of get it for the intention. Um, you know that <laughs> shrink plastic that I got a while back um, of making some of my own kind of little um acrylic hearts or something like shrinking them down and of course because the shrink plastic's clear um you can color it with markers and stuff but it always doesn't look that great so i thought about um maybe shrinking them down you can make some little charms with them or something and then spraying them with this stuff so it leaves a nice glossy finish on the outside um but yeah i don't know if that's for one day when i have a whole lot of time on my hands which um doesn't happen very often at the moment so um yeah, so there's that. Um, you could, I would think, it would be great for paint splatters as well because it is nice and opaque um, as well. But I think I'll be sticking to my Liquitex for now because I love that stuff. Um, I've also been on the hunt for a really good quality white ink. Um, and this is a Lord Fawn Yeti ink. I'm not going to take it out of the package or stamp. Um, I'll do that another day. Um... It's a slower drying ink. It's a pigment ink pad. Um, so I'm hoping it will be a bit better. I've got one ink pad but it's dried up and the white wasn't very good to begin with. So I thought I would try this um, and see how I go. So um, you might see that pop up in a card video. <laughs> it's predominantly what I got it for um, at some stage. Um, apart from the Jen Hadfield collection i got these i have been waiting for them to come into stock and these are from the crap paper magical forest collection it's probably why you haven't seen me use a lot of it um i actually found it a little bit difficult as far as like the die cuts um side of things to work with um the pattern papers and stuff are great but i felt really duped by the die cuts but um i thought i'd wait and see whether i could work some of these onto a layout so there's some super cute little yeah little they're quite a decent size, but they're really pretty, like a whole lot of texture. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to add them to my crepe paper um, collection. Um, I got these thickers, and I don't even remember putting these in my cart, and I'm fairly certain I've got them already. <laughs> um, but these are called Main Squeeze, um, so I'm not sure what collection they're from, but they're a nice gold, puffy. I probably just ended up in, in because they're gold and puffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean I always use gold thickers so there's very minimal let, um, numbers there's just one of each which is great and then you've got a mix of upper and lower case 
um, alphas, which I find a little bit frustrating sometimes because you end up with um, very few letters in the pack. You have to end up doing upper and lowercase letters. And I mean, I don't mind that if it's intentional, but if I don't want it to be intentional, it gets a bit frustrating. But that's okay. They are gorgeous, nonetheless. Um, these, I'm pretty sure, they're from one of the Pebbles collections. Um, I'm not sure whether it's specifically from this one. It could be from Lovely Moments. Um, but they're called Hello. Um, and they are a gold puppy. They're definitely a more matte gold um, than these stickers. Um, but we've got some nice versatile um, sentiments. Or I think they definitely are for this collection. It looks like it. Some really nice, nice mix of like solid and scripty and stuff. It's birthday, hello. Whoops, we've got a hello that's bent over. That's not so good. It's not all there, but it's okay. Must have just been caught when it was put in the packaging. Um, and some hearts, which is always fun, and some little leaves, so that's cool. Um, and so, before I get into the Jen Hadfield, I've got a few more um, Pink Paisley Bloom Street pattern papers, because I had cut into some of these, and used one already, and I really, I really like this one. I love this, and I'd already cut into it for, I think, my first layout I made with it, and I wanted to use it as a background paper, so I got another, because I only got one. Um... So I got that, that's number number two. Um, and I got this one here, this is number 22. Um, so it was geometric, but I got, again, I've got it for, for that side. Um, I love the watercolor design. Um, this is number 10 from Bloom Street. We've got the diamonds, but again, the watercolor. <laughs> Can you sense a theme? I love these papers. Um, awesome for backgrounds. Um, and I've used this on one of my raindrop, uh, cloud and raindrop one. And I love, love the look of it. So I got that. And this is number twenty three. Um, and I don't, I didn't buy this one um, initially because I wasn't a fan of that background. But I thought that this might be nice, not to fussy cut. There is, um, in my opinion, all the flowers are far too connected. Um, but could definitely use the pattern for something. I apologise for that random dog barking. Um, so yeah, I got that because I didn't get it initially. Okay, so on to uh, Jen Hadfield Hey Hello collection. So there's two die cut packs. There is the Icon Ephemera pack. So um, I've kind of layered them up. It's got gold foiling in it. And I mean, this is what <clears throat> you kind of, this is what you should be getting in die cut packs. And to see. Um, what you get in this is why I feel like I was duped with crepe paper there's really not a lot of usable bits there's just large square bits um, yeah I felt really disappointed with that um, that's the kind of stuff you want <laughs> in a die cut pack I think, that's, I think that's probably why I'm gravitating more to pebbles now because um, there's just so much on offer so and I mean they're all just like little birds and flowers and who isn't going to be able to use all those bits and pieces I mean a little bear holding a bunch of flowers yeah <laughs> um, coffee cups a little snail with a floral shell why not and a hedgehog <laughs> can you tell where I got the idea for my hedgehog cut file um, yeah it's um, some really cute little icons on there so I thought I'd grab that. So there's 40 in there. Um, 40 in the Fraser Femo pack. These are a bit larger. Um, again, you can break them down. Those are a bunch of phrases. Um, but again, super user friendly. A little bit disappointed in the cutting on that one though. I can just see that. I'm going to have to trim that down. It's a bit frustrating. Um, but never mind. So that's what's in this one. Don't mind all the paint on my hands. Is that going to focus? There you go. <clears throat> um, I also got these little shaker stickers. Um, and they're puffy and squishy and just cute. That butterfly's adorable. 
um, the little llama or pecker, um, hedgehog, it's a super cute and two little hearts, pretty fun, they're really nice and puffy too. Um, I got the, we'll go through the, this is the 6x12 sticker sheet, 78 stickers, again, who's not going to use all of those bits and pieces? Um, <laughs> I mean, I've got a little six-year-old girl, I'm probably not going to use the head, but that's one sticker, um, or that one, so that's two that I definitely won't use, probably, um, but the rest, I think we'll definitely make it onto a page, maybe little butterflies, ladybugs, donuts, snails, the flowers, <laughs> the hedgehog, it's just, um, gorgeous, I oh, used that one, I've got a perfect photo for that, <laughs> um, I'm going to have fun with this, yeah, little fox is just adorable, um, and gold foiling on that, um, so for the stickers, I don't think I need to take them out, it's 137 stickers, um, and they are cardstock, perfect, amazing, that's exactly what you want in stickers, so there's a bunch of little phrases, um, and some little flowers and stuff on the second sheet. It's all flowers. Um, and then we've got some lovely little banners. Miss your face. I love that. You've got this. Feel better soon. Love ya. Many thanks. Thinking of you. So you can definitely use some of these on cards, which I think I might do. Um, but yeah, super cool. The next page, just foiled leaves. Who doesn't love that? And they're white cardstock, which is perfect. Um, we've got some super cute little flowers and little wreaths. Um, this is just, oh why didn't I get this one sooner? <laughs> Your kindness was greatly appreciated. And I mean with these ones, if you don't like the sentiment in the centre, just cut it out and just use it as a wreath. It's pretty simple. Um, and the same as this one, if you don't like the sentiment on the bottom, um, you can just tuck that under somewhere. I love that little bear. It's so cute. Um, and then we've got some little hearts. I should turn it the right way. Ladybugs and sunglasses. Bees. It's just cute. It is just cute. <laughs> um, so for the 6x6 paper pad, I should have um, opened this up already. Let's see if I can, I'm just going to cut it open, but I like to peel the, place, the um, sticky label off. There we go. Got one side. To the side so this is the six by eight paper pad it's got some gold foiling in it and the colors are just beautiful and summery so we've got some blue with flowers i thought they were apricots for a minute <laughs> the flowers <laughs> um the gorgeous pink that's so vibrant it's almost highlighter uh, but it's not thank goodness i'm not a fan of highlighters i'm an 80s 80s kid but yeah <laughs> uh ladybugs that's adorable Some cute little faces, they are adorable. Flowers in there here. Um, green, lovely soft green, and the bees are gold foiled, which are really pretty. Got a lovely little yellow honeycomb. I love that shade of yellow, that mustardy, kind of deep, rich yellow. Some little hedgehogs. Gorgeous yellow again with some roses and some gold foiling. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've got a little black and white gingham. Is it a gingham? <laughs> Gorgeous pink background with some red florals and foiling. That's stunning. Red and pink flowers. A rainbow. <laughs> white flowers and they've got little gold foil dots on the center you can see that that gorgeous yellow again saying hooray this is stunning absolutely stunning my goodness you could put that on my wall and i'd be happy <laughs> even with the gold foiling look at it it's stunning that is a gorgeous piece of paper probably one of the most gorgeous flowers i've seen in a really long time just pretty 
I almost want to frame that. Actually, I might do. <laughs> Maybe I need to make a little <laughs> um, DIY project. Mind you, it's only six by eight, so that's a bit of a shame. This is pretty too, my goodness. Um, it's a gorgeous mix of colours. It's so pretty. Love this. Again, another super gorgeous pretty. <laughs> super gorgeous pretty. <laughs> How many more <laughs> adjectives can I add to that sentence? And we've got golf ball in as well. Floral. <laughs> Um, this is gorgeous too, lovely green with the little hearts, you could cut them out, happy days. And then I think we repeat, yep. I am glad that there are two of that floral pattern paper, because um, I would not be able to cut into one. That's just stunning, really pretty. Definitely have to do something with that. So two of everything is 36 papers, um, so 18 designs, yeah, gorgeous. Um, don't know why I didn't get it sooner. Okay, so for the 12 by 12 pattern papers, and this is the thing that I struggle with for pebbles that I think often stops me buying them initially is the pattern papers, the 12 by 12 pattern papers are incredibly busy, and then the B sides, which... Um, um, supposed to be a little bit more subdued are often incredibly busy as well so I struggle to use them as background pen papers um, yeah I could use plain cardstock or white cardstock but um, <laughs> that's not me <laughs> I like my pattern um, so yeah I just kind of sifted through the ones that I thought I might use or could adapt some way so this one is scattered blossoms of course we've got a really full-on um, floral print on the background, it is on a white base, um, but the B side more subdued. It's a lovely just grid. Um, so I think I might be able to use that uh, for sure. This one's called Nesting. It's a gorgeous soft minty green with some little um, leaves and eggs on them, um, which is really pretty. Um, but the B side's just as pretty as well. It's a nice white base with some sketchy little birds. Really great. They're both. Great bases actually. I guess it depends on what you're going for. This one's called Floral Hearts. This is a larger version of that little um, heart print. So you could cut them out. Um, it's got a really nice base colour. Uh, but the B side is this nice dark green. It's got a bit of dust on it. I'm not sure what that is. Um, sorry for knocking the camera. I might make you feel sick. But that, um, again, it's very dark. But it would make a good, good base. Um, you could splare a bit of this on it and it would pop off the page and as we cut follow on it would be cool too um, of course <laughs> this one's called cupcake surprise so we've got a whole lot of cupcakes with hedgehogs in them definitely not something great for a background but this I thought I might be able to make work um, even if I cut it down and tone it down with white cardstock around the outside or something like that or we'll pop a big background cut file on it just to tone it all down um, I think that that might work Gorgeous floral one would work for sure. Um, love that paper. This one's called Sentiment Strips. Um, so you could cut it down into your strips. It's super cute. Um, for the B side, I thought I might be able to make work. Looking at it now, maybe. Not too sure. It's very very red <laughs> um, in those diagonal borders. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. This one's called Girlfriend Sentiments. Um, I like the cut parts, um, but I liked this better, the B-side, which is the, um, the text ones. And I was very mindful of what was in the writing. Um, and I thought that I would definitely be able to use this as a background. So I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more, girl. You got this. Um, remember that day we met, best day ever, I thought of you today and smiled, so thankful you were part of my life, just wanted to brighten your day, so that's a little bit easier to kind of get onto the back of a, um, a layout. Uh, this one's called Flower Patch, it's got that really dark blue in the um, apricot flowers. <laughs> Um, definitely not a background paper for me, but this one I thought could work. And this feels a little bit more subdued than it does in 12 by 12 format than it does. It is slightly different colour. That feels a lot more intense and full on. This is, I love this. So that will probably definitely feature on a background. Um, this one's called Thank You Sentiments. So we've got some really gorgeous cut aparts. Um, that 
quite stunning. Just looking at that in there. <laughs> really cute ones. You could fussy cut them out if you wanted to. Look at the hedgehog. <laughs> um, and then this is the B side. It's like a, a pink bordering on <laughs> nearly purple with a black text. And it's almost like a word find. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of letters. We've got thank you. I can see thank you in there. That's about it. <laughs> um, lots of thank yous, but um, that would make a good background pattern paper too. It's very subtle. This one's called Twilight. Um, so we've got a black with floral. Um, definitely not something I'd use as a background. I thought I might be able to make this work, but that is very <laughs> um, intense. It's a very intense blue. So... I don't know, we'll see how we go with this one. It might make a nice border. I think it actually would make a really lovely border. Or something like that text would be lovely. It'd be really pretty. And then the black would kind of frame it all. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, this one's called Birdies. Super cute little birds on a light blue background. Um, and then the back side is this gorgeous pinky lined paper great base uh, this one's called bee blossoms so we've got some flowers and some bees on the 6x8 paper pad the bees are foiled uh, but not on this one and then a gorgeous yellow honeycomb honeycomb pattern love this really really cool <laughs> make another bee layer <laughs> um, and this now I've ended up with three of these and this is my fa <laughs> pattern paper <laughs> um, from the 6x8 paper pad. Um, you can tell why I've ended up with three. So I think I will make a 12x12 12 12, um, something with just this. Um, maybe I might do a cut file with a sentiment on it. Um, it would be really pretty. Um, so that's happy days. So three of them. And then the B side is this. So <laughs> that's why I've got three. I've got one for me for the floral. And then <laughs> um, I can use one of each either side and I won't have to choose um, there won't be any sacrificial lambs <laughs> with this so really really pretty love this I probably will not um, it's not a paper I would fussy cut um, because all the flowers are far too connected I like a bit of white space um, but definitely we'll be making something with this I think I might actually even be able to um, do my clock project maybe <laughs> <laughs> um, Jessica Weir will know what I'm talking about because <laughs> I'm literally look, look, looking at the clock um, hanging on my wall um, that I'm supposed to be decorating but I haven't um, it's just ticking away <laughs> okay this one's called Donuts um, with a lovely kind of teal uh, aqua background um, with some donuts on it um, but I love this hooray on that mustardy yellow it's super pretty uh, this one's called Pink Posies because we've got some pink flowers on a red background. Uh, but the B side's very pretty. It's a lovely, rich green tone on tone leaves. It's really pretty. And last but not least, this one's called Loves Me. So we've got some little daisies on a pink background. And then the B side is this black um, that's playing with my eyes. It's probably playing with yours. Um, <laughs> but I love that. That's so cute. So, um, it's a good A side so it's not too bad not too um, I'm actually quite happy with my choices of papers uh, for this um, and super <laughs> pleased that I got three of that floral um, yeah so that's my haul hope you enjoyed um, hopefully I'll get some time to make something with it I've been absolutely manic at work my normal work my day job the one that pays the bills um, so creating anything hasn't really been an option um, other than creating cut files for the shop which um, is still uh, a very creative outlet for me so I don't mind it um, it's really fun to see them go up in the shop and see everyone's um, reactions and the comments and it's even better to see people use them so um, yeah so um, until next time, <laughs> bye guys.